Hi, this is Karthik from India, and uh, I'm going to tell you what uh, we can do uh, with registry. Uh, not everything, but just one or two examples, and uh, uh, of course, uh, how to do it uh, using a program in Visual Studio, right? So I will show you what we can. Uh, uh, how we can actually run our application when the system uh, reboots or when the system is booting, right? Um, so let's say if we want to run some application like uh, my chat application, right? So I want to run this application. Uh, I want this application to start up automatically. So I need to go for uh, its path. Let's store it in a notepad. Slash, of course, the application name. It's active. Just there it is. It's just chat app. Copy paste over here dot exe. So this is the application path uh, executable file, of course, uh, to start this application. So I need to make sure this chat app runs automatically and system starts, right? So for that, you need to go for uh, you can either go for current user or local machine. I don't know about this, okay. So you can either go for current machine or local machine, current user or local machine. I'll do it for uh, current user, just for me, AK. Okay. So then you go for software, then uh, Microsoft, and then Windows. Run. Right. So here uh, we need to create a string value. Here uh, I need to specify the application name so that is chat app and of course the path I uh, can do it using this modify from the context menu that just pops up when you are right clicking go for path copy and paste that's all now this application uh, will be up and running when you are restarting your system or when you are starting your system basically ok so that's how you do it manually but what if you want to do it using a program okay. so here I already have uh, this uh, application let me just show you from the beginning ok so you need to add this namespace using uh, Sorry, not system. It's using Microsoft dot Win32. Okay. That's it. Make use of that uh, namespace and uh, create a registry key. Registry spelling is wrong. Okay. Registry key. Okay. Registry key. You need to create an object for it. Uh, equal to make use of uh, registry dot and. Uh, you are creating a new string value for uh, current user, not for uh, uh, local machine. So you need to select current user, right? of course. And uh, you have to open sub with sub key. Uh, you need to open this uh, run sub key, right? So you need the uh, you need the URL. So just make use of this copy key name and. Uh, Sub key of the URL. Uh, here, this is the entire location, right? But we have already indicated like we are going to make use of current user, so we don't need this. Okay. Uh, so we got the path, and of course.
because uh, we need to set value object dot set value of uh, same thing that you did manually using regedit uh, right clicking and saying new I want to create a new string value here as well uh, you're going to do that using the set value method uh, here goes uh, application name the path uh, executable right so that's all uh, but of course you need the right permission to write uh, anything write something in uh, registry so you have to make use of this other parameter here it is it says pool writable so you need to say yes it is uh, I want write permission so for true okay so now if you run this application you can see this application name and path of executable registry let's press this button one that's all I think do we have uh, application name and path of executable application name ok so you can see right path of executable already there was one application name ok so now we are going to create a new one just in case make sure let's say new one X. done let's go and see where is my registry okay uh, you can see like there is one uh, string valued uh, thing that is created over here in this run key the value is path of executable so you need to give path of course not this not any string value okay so that's how you do it programmatically let's see how uh, how to make use of registry to to add some new uh, value over here right so I, I have added this my visual studio to the context menu that pops up when you're right clicking on a file right so if you want to do it you need to go for register and this time uh, make use of uh, of course we have to make use of class root go for this asterisk and then uh, this is the thing shell application name uh, whatever name you want to give and command shell name command that's it so that's the tree structure you need to follow and that should come under this asterisk right shell application name command and here uh, right click on this default uh, in this key command uh, right click on the default modify and the application uh, executable file uh, URL and at last uh, just add this percentage one mm, that's all uh, this way you can create your uh, uh, you can uh, create your own customized uh, context menu right Similarly, if you want to add uh, say new key, I'll say my app and uh, a new key command. This way, we are following that structure, right? Under asterisk, we got shell my app command. Here in default, I need to go modify. I'll just give a path of uh, mute or not muter and something else mm, again chat up ok chat application again control c control v and percentage 1 that's all now if you are going to right click now if you are going to right click you can see here my app so this way you can just add 
because it won't open because uh, application is not uh, configured for that configured to open this file so mm. for that uh, class root thing as well you can do programmatically um, making use of the same thing open sub key and uh, if you want to create new key like under that uh, shell if you want to create a new key just need to just explore all these things under this object uh, you can see open sub or not create sub key now to create a sub key you need to go for create sub key and say whatever the key name that you want like you want shell right oh uh, yeah under the asterisk uh, first you have to make sure you're pointing to the asterisk location that is uh, this thing I'm talking about asterisk I need to point it so you can make use of copy key name so location will be this is what is the location but here we need to say like we're making use of class root so class root dot open sub key off so then we don't need this right so we are pointing to an asterisk and then just create uh, sub keys like this create sub key of shell and then uh, your application name and then command and then uh, change the default right change the default modify the default to the path of executable further you need to just make your set value again set value will also overwrite and that's all thank you very much and uh, hope it was uh, useful